Hey book nerds, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be a quick video of my June book haul. Uh, I've got a few things that I got physically and then a couple of ebooks as well. So first of all I'm going to start off with things that I technically didn't buy in June but they arrived in June so they are pre-orders. One of which you've already seen which was in the at the end of my May um, wrap-up video uh, which was Donut the Destroyer. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this because I have read it and it will be in my June wrap-up. Um, nevertheless it's very pretty and I love the art. Um, it's very colourful and uh, yeah so if you want to hear more about that one look out for the June wrap-up. Uh, second of all is Beyond the Gender Binary by Alok Fade Menon. Um, this is part of the Penguin Workshop Penguin Teen Pocket Change Collection Collective um, and it's a really short little book as you can see it's, it's only 64 pages long um, so it doesn't take very long to read it's basically uh, a little educational book for people who don't understand what um, it means to be someone whose gender is outside of the gender binary of male or female. Um, it's not really a book for non-binary or genderqueer people themselves. It's more of educating people who um, like to make excuses for why non-binary people don't really exist. Um, so yeah, this I have also read, uh, so I'll talk about it a bit more in the wrap up along with Donut the Destroyer. So then, these are books that I have ordered in June and they have arrived. So first up we've got a relatively new edition of Fahrenheit 451. This is because I am, well I have sort of set up a book club at work and our first book is going to be Fahrenheit 451. I have wanted to read this for a while and I never had a copy and I just kept making excuses, well, reasoning with myself not to buy more books um, unless I was definitely going to read them. Uh, when I ordered this I thought actually that I was going to get a used copy but to me this looked pretty brand new um, so maybe I misread something somewhere but I think it's a really cool copy. Um, fun little graphics. It's still quite simple. Um, so yeah, I'll be looking forward to reading that sometime before the end of August because that is when the book club is. Uh, next of things that I have bought for myself, I bought two books during the um, Blackout bestseller lists week, which is these two. Um, so first of all we've got Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Um, she also wrote Americana, um, Half of Yellow Sun, We Should All Be Feminists and a few other bits and pieces. This one and Americana I keep seeing pop up on lots of these books to read before you die lists. Um, and I read the synopsis for both this and Americana and I just thought this one felt more um, appealing to me at this particular time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. I have been wanting to read more of her work for a while. I've read um, We Should All Be Feminists and then I just haven't got around to reading any of her other stuff. And this is actually a lot older than I thought it was. This, this came out in sort of... I'm going to check now. Come on. So originally published in 2004, um, which is not old enough for it to have been a GCSE book for me. I believe it's possibly an option on GCSEs nowadays, I'm not sure, um, but definitely going to want to read this. I think the design of all of her books are really nice and they're all sort of very similar. Um, so yeah, Purple Hibiscus. I don't think it's a particularly happy story, so I'm going to have to be in the mood. Um, next, Get a Life Chloe Brown by right? Talia Hibbert. Now this is very out of character for me. I have never bought 
a romance book. I have never read a romance book. I no, just never. I'm not really interested in romance books. However, in this one, Chloe Brown, the main character, has fibromyalgia. And that is something that I also have. So I'm very curious to see how it's been written and how uh, true to life, I suppose, the condition is portrayed in the book and how it affects her. Um, so to me, the romance is kind of secondary for this. Um, however, I've also seen a couple of um, reviewers who have very similar tastes to me who have read this and who are also not romance bookish people and who have said, it's amazing, definitely read it. So that kind of tipped me over the edge and I was like, okay, um, I'll buy it during the blackout bestsellers. So this, again, because it is a romance, I'm going to probably have to be in a certain mood to read it. Um, and I'm going to have to put all of my scepticism about romance books at the back of my mind and uh, just get on with it. But yeah, there we go. That's this one. Next, I have two books that were gifted to me in, as part of book exchanges um, via Bookstagram. So the first one that I got is The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. Again, I've wanted to read this since it came out and I've just told myself, no, don't buy it. Um, wait until you can get it on library book or uh, ebook or something like that and wait until you've got less of a TBR. However, it was on my Amazon wish list and it was a random choice by the person who bought it for me. Um, so it is now here and I'm quite hyped about it. This is also kind of a bit romancy as well. So two books this month in this book haul that are kind of out of my normal comfort zone. So I might put this on my July TBR just because I'm quite interested to read it and June's almost finished so I don't think I'm going to get to it in the next couple of days um, but I really would like to get into this uh, yep so the last physical book that I got was another book exchange Amazon book exchange so it was random and that is H's Hawk this has been on my Amazon wish list for several years now. Um, it's been recommended to me by several people um, and it is a non-fiction. Um, it won the Samuel Johnson Prize for non-fiction. The idea, well, the, the blurb is that um, this woman's father dies and he, uh, and after that she, gets the idea that she wants to train a goshawk and it's looking it goes through her journey of training this goshawk and how that helps her deal with the tragedy uh, of losing her father um so i thought this was kind of an interesting one um way back when when i put it on my um wish list and still quite keen to read it so now i have a copy uh, it's it looks bigger than it is it's less than 300 pages but it looks a lot fatter than that to me but hey whatever so next I'm gonna have to read from my list of my this is my new reading journal that I started this month as well and so ebooks ebook number one would be the guest list by Lucy Foley that's the Reese's uh, Hello Sunshine book club read for one of the reads for June I'm probably not going to finish it in June but it was 99p I believe on Kindle which I think was it was set by the publishers so they must have been running a a um, promotion just because it was picked by such a prominent book club uh, so I picked that up I also picked up Hood Feminism, which I mentioned in my one of my previous videos um, on um, books by black authors. Uh, White Fragility, 
as well I picked up on an ebook both of those are sort of anti-racism um non-fiction learning books for me uh and then I also bought the Binti trilogy which I also mentioned in that video um I've read the first one so I'll be talking about the first one in my June wrap-up and then lastly I also bought uh Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine because it was I think two pounds on Amazon that's my final ebook um I did also buy a few books as gifts for other people but obviously I don't have them so this month I've I've actually bought quite a lot of books plus I pre-ordered something that's not coming out till September so I have spent on books this month when you know uh I think it's it's got to that point in lockdown where I'm just like um having some post makes you feel a little bit like the day is a bit more special and interesting than a day when you don't get post because the day when you don't get post is literally the same as every other day has been for the last three months. I'm sure everybody in the UK and internationally who is in lockdown can understand that. So I have possibly gone a little bit over the top on books this month but I will be reading them as soon as I can. Aside from that, before I wrap up, I just wanted to say that in between my last video going up and recording for this one, I have started a separate Instagram account just for bookstagram and bookish things. The handle is what.ray.reads. I'll put it in the um, put it in the description down below. Oh, I've got hiccups. And then the last thing I wanted to show you before I go is bookmarks. I went on Etsy and I found these three, this little trio of celestial themed bookmarks. And I'll put the link to this lady's Etsy shop as well. Um, so I think these are really cute and lovely. And they'll be, I'm reading an ebook at the moment so I can't immediately use them. But um, once we get to July, I've got my mind set on reading one of my big fantasy books in July so I'll pick one of these to to match and go with it. So that is my book haul for June. I hope you liked having a look at some of those books. Let me know if you read any of them, what you thought of them um, and hopefully I will see you again for my June wrap up and mini TBR for July um, which I will be recording fairly soon but as of recording this, it is still June, so I'm still eking out the last few minutes of reading time for the month. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe, take care, like, subscribe, follow, so on and so forth. Um, happy reading. Bye bye.